Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's second video, doing the EC30 day look at for today's second video for the UK and for the rest of Europe too. So as always on Tuesday, we've got the extended forecast for the next 30 slash 46 days. I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first video release today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And we've also got 10 to 14 there with all of the regular features coming up for you later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, let's start off with situation across Europe for week one, then. This will be the 15th to 22nd of January. Looks unsettled in the week ahead with a trough of low pressure across much of northern and also western Europe as well. There's a blocking area of high pressure over Greenland and Iceland that's gradually reducing, but still enough to be bringing cold air down into that trough of low across much of northern Europe in particular. 500 millibar heights look like that, so a trough up below average heights across much of northern and west Europe. Notice how the block is just going to go more towards the Canadian side of Greenland and uh, very cold across much of northern America, by the way. Jet stream really digging southwards through up there. Okay, so this is how the temperature normally is stacking up across Europe for the weekend. So very cold across northern Europe again. Core of a cold issue, Scandinavia and the Nordic regions where it's been throughout winter. Some places 10 degrees or more below average. UK, Ireland, northern France and into the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands. Uh, temperature normally is between 3 and 6 degrees below average. And then more widely across many uh, parts of Europe, we are uh, somewhat below average. So we see that, for example, Germany has temperature at uh around 1 to 3 degrees below average, as does Poland, the Baltic Sea states as well, through Belarus and down into um, well, 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 western parts of Ukraine. <laughs> Eastern, get me east and west, but Eastern Ukraine is warmer than average, as is um, the Black Sea. And then much of southern Europe actually quite mild. So France, Spain, um, Spain, Portugal, into the central bowl of men, over to Italy, over the Adriatic, and down towards Greece and Turkey. All those areas coming out with above average temperatures. And also relatively dry through the central bowl of the Mediterranean as well. So you want a little bit of winter sunshine. Maybe head to Corsica or Sardinia. The temperature is above average and it's drier than normal too. It looks very pleasant there. Spain, Portugal coming out wetter than uh, normal. The Balearic Islands, Mallorca, Minorca, Ibiza. Near a normal precipitation there. It's a little bit drier further east. We'll see them there. We get through to Italy, but around the age after to the Balkans there. It's a little bit on the wetter. On every side, every Greece and Turkey uh, a mix, but uh, perhaps a bit drier through Greece, a little bit wetter through Turkey. If we go further northwards, of course, where it's cold, there any precipitation is going to be snow. So, for example, across northern Europe, Scandinavia, Nordic regions into the Baltic Sea states have got above average precipitation in some areas, and all of that. Of course, with such cold temperatures, or will be snow. France looking quite wet. There'll be some significant snow through northern parts of France, I think, and in towards parts of the Low Countries, maybe um, in some parts of uh, Western Germany as well. Uh, we come up in towards the uh, UK, so it's driving average single away up a little bit on the wet side as we get further northwards in towards Scotland. Week two will be the 22nd to 29th of January. Big flip around then. Big, big flip around. We lose all the blocking. The low pressure goes northwards. Heights rise very strongly across much of Europe. That sends a jet stream northwards onto a southwest north east trajectory. And it starts, to turn, it starts to turn much milder then across most parts of Europe. 500 millibar heights uh, show this up very nicely. Again, we've got the above average heights through many um, parts of Europe below, average heights away to the northwest, and again, winds coming up from that long fetch southwesterly direction. So, the temperature normally gets a big boost. Look at this as we go through the week two. What a change. Um, what a what a topsy turvy winter we're having, aren't we? So, widely above average, all the cold has gone, all the cold's gone out into the Atlantic, that's Greenland. Iceland, even Scandinavia and the Nordic regions where it has been, uh, you know, a, a, a very, very cold winter so far. There we see the temperature at normally at least three to six degrees above average, if not a little bit more. And all parts of northern, western and also central Europe with above average temperature. So a uh, woman average or modern average, you um, 
Spain, Portugal, uh, some parts of southern France going to around 6 to 10 degrees above average. Goodness gracious me. UK and Ireland also going very mild, as does much of the low countries. Um, now, yeah, really exceptionally mild week to come there for that last full week of January. A little bit colder over towards the Black Sea, down towards Greece and Turkey. Maybe we'll see some snow turning up in Athens um, that week. Not a forecast, just a, just a little bit of speculation. And uh, precipitation-wise, well, yes, it's uh, above average for precipitation across much of northern Europe. Of course, it'll still be pretty cold across Scandinavia and in the far northeast Europe around Baltic Sea area. So an increase in precipitation will probably yield quite a lot of snow, at least the central and northern regions that uh, may turn back to rain sleep. Across more southern areas like Denmark into southern uh, Norway and Sweden. Um, but go further north, I suspect it will still be cold enough for snow, even if the temperature normally is about six degrees above normal. But meanwhile, for the south, folk could be largely on the driving outside of that big ridge of high pressure anywhere from like southern central France. South was going to be having driving out conditions for Mediterranean. Again, looking pretty dry, so not too bad at all. If you want a little bit of wind sunshine, head down to the Med, and uh, there you should find it with relatively pleasant temperatures as well. Week 3 will be the 29th of January to the 5th of February. So this week sees high pressure just taking over, really, across many parts of Europe. So an anti-cyclonic week there. Low pressure getting pushed away to the north. But yes, it's probably up here a long way north of the winter. Um, the only reason is high pressure. It might start turning colder from an inversion through, for, with frost and fog, particularly likely through France, Germany, probably below countries, maybe into parts of uh, Ireland and southern England, although a little bit less likely here because we're probably bringing in more of, a, of an Atlantic sort of uh, wind. Um, but, yeah, under the centre of high pressure, we might start seeing some frost and fog and that sort of thing developing. 500 millibar hikes looking like that again, above average heights dominating across many central and western parts of Europe. Temperature probably is, so still above average, but coming down a little bit. Compared to uh, week two, but still widely above average, all the way from Ireland, Portugal, in the west, right the way to the Black Sea in the east, and all points in between with above average temperature. Bear in mind, it won't, the model won't be picking up on like frost and fog through France, Germany, etc., because um, that's low level cold, and the model is looking at the upper parameters, really. And as far as uh, the uh, precipitation on is concerned, so west of an average through Norway into northern parts of Sweden. Um, Sort of average or no signal anywhere from Germany uh, eastwards to the Black Sea, but to the west and to the south of that, largely on the driving average side under that area of high pressure. And then week four is the, fee, it's the 5th to the 12th of February. Again, we see high pressure dominating here across much of uh, West Europe. Gradually pulling out into the Atlantic, maybe allowing something a little bit colder to start coming back into Scandinavia and the far north of Europe. Otherwise, not overly cold, just might be frost and fog, of course, under the area of high pressure for 500 millibar heights look like that again above average heights sitting across very western parts of Europe the temperature anomaly is cooling down um that's still a little bit above average in the far northwest anyway but otherwise reverting uh, near a door but probably more no signal given that before weeks out and uh, very strongly signaled to be drier than normal. This was a week four anomaly. This is a strong signal to be drier than average across these western parts of Europe. But further northwards and eastwards, um, we have weaker signals. Right, that's the 30 day look okay, done. But let's go for weeks five and six data uh, before we go. So week five will be the 12th to the 19th of February. We still keep that area of high pressure sitting over the West of Europe, the 500 millibar heights again, that high pressure over West of Europe, temperature anomaly. Again, it's average to a little bit above, and precipitation, again, driving average, particularly in the West of Europe. And then finally, week six will be the 19th to 26th of February. High pressure again, still in the ascendancy across Western parts of Europe and in the North Atlantic, 500 millibar heights. Perhaps starting to inch that high pressure a little bit further north, was probably not all that far away from uh, dropping in another northerly. But temperature anomaly is not a bit cold and average over in the Nordic regions. Otherwise, it's average, no signal or above average. And precipitation remains largely drier in the west of Europe. So at the moment, the ECM doesn't want to send that high pressure northwards and bring in another cold spell through the early to middle part of February. 
It just wants to keep it sitting over western parts of Europe. We shall see how that evolves. It, it may change its ideas on that, but that's the latest. Before then, well, cold this week, but exceptionally mild next week, and then we're under high pressure conditions into early February. If you enjoyed the forecast, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And uh, we'll be back with the 10th 14 day very shortly. For this one, though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.